Okay guys, hello there, I'm Daniel and this is Dan's Tech World. So today guys, today's video is very, 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 very vlog-like. I'm going to turn a few more lights on here. But um, today's video is very, very vlog-like because it's very quick. And this only just happened and I kind of want to show you what I picked up. I picked up a buy-in of a computer for £75 that came with a GTX 660 from NVIDIA, from MSI. Like, I picked up the entire computer for £75. Which I thought I just wanted to show you. So we'll spin the camera around and I'll show you what's happening. So here we are. This is the computer. I've taken out the graphics card for a moment just to show you fully inside. Now I picked up this computer for £75 from the Facebook ads that are kind of popping up everywhere at the moment. And I just thought I'd say, man, like, like, it's just... This is crazy. So this was £75. It's had a new uh, power supply by Antec, a 550 watt uh, PSU. It only has 4 gigs of RAM. It has an i3 uh, second generation uh, and it has the GTX 660 uh, with uh, PCI power there as well. Now what makes me kind of like just uh, with this computer is you can probably see the dust. like. The dust buildup on this computer is not the nicest. Um, this was someone's old gaming rig apparently, and they just kind of fixed it up so it was ready to sell. Oh, I just caught myself on some sharp metal, that was nice. Um, but basically, this is a semi modular power supply. Uh, it's got a 500 gig hard drive, uh, I've got an SSD boot drive, so it's fine. Uh, it has the Graphics card as mentioned with two gigs of GDR GDDR5, which is wonderful. Like it needs a clean though. Like this is just as disgusting. Uh, but this is a wonderful little computer. Now I'm going to be doing a lot with this machine um, over the next few videos. I think this is going to be my project machine. Uh, I need to get more RAM. Obviously, it's only got two RAM slots, which is an issue. Uh, but we can make that work. And obviously, I'll get some slightly better than stock fans. You can see how much like crap is on them and the same with the CPU. The CPU is not the worst but everything else in here is kind of fairly dusty and kind of tightly wrapped. I don't normally do gaming stuff but you know this is this is a bit different and you know uh, by the way it's a Dell Inspiron tower this is like only an OEM computer it's a Dell Inspiron. The dust build up can we just can we maybe Oh wow, uh, it's just, it's no better in here. If I show you inside the case, you can see all down there. So I think I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner right now to attempt to sort some of this out. And once I've attempted to clean some of it out, then I will get back to you guys because, well, it's just, it's not very nice right now. So I'm gonna take some bits and bobs out and uh, kind of clean it and I'll stick you guys on a tripod so you can see what's happening. Okay, so I just basically want to show you guys what's happened so far. So the hard drive as you saw in the turn up then was horrible. That came out so disgusting and in here was horrible. There's actually a, still a bit of uh, cleaning stuff inside there. I'll have to clean that up. There's my rag. I'll just stick that in there and clean that out. But there you go. That's all clean in there now. Clean across the motherboard. I'm dreading this bit so much i'm going to move those screws so i don't lose them oh yeah i cleaned the fan um as you saw because the fan was absolutely horrible in every way shape and form uh, so it was the cpu fan now i'm dreading this bit where i take the front bezel off sit this up right there we go oh my holy jesus i don't want to touch that i don't want to touch that I don't want to touch the case really. I'm tempted to just put it in the wash. The case is... 
Jesus, this was stored somewhere. Did you? Yeah, I don't know. Keys are gone from the case mostly. A few bits here and there, but not bothering me. Um, and the front of here. Man, that is a lot of dust. Holy Christ, that is like a disgusting computer. Man, I know it was cheap, but I mean cheap because of that. Um, and it's fine, I'll just put my, my rag again. Oh, let's uh, just go over it, I guess. Just a little bit cleaner. Just even a little bit, you know. The SD card reader isn't even silver anymore, it's grey. <laughs> Due to it just being full of crap. People don't realise computers need maintenance as much as people do. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to do, I'm not going to time lapse this, I'm just going to stick this back in, but I'm going to stick the hard drive in. Weirdly enough, the hard drive goes, the hard drive goes in upside down. Now I find that a confusing one. Um, don't quite know why, but it does. And then all the spare cables go into here. Um, plug in SATA power. This is just um, a rough cleany bit for now, just so I, you know, I can see what's going on. I've never had a computer come in like this, like ever. Like, whew, there's dusty, and then there's dusty. And man, this is dusty. And I've not even, like, I've not even started to touch the GPU yet, which looks just... I don't know how to explain the GPU, to be quite honest. I don't know if you can see in there, like... Oh, Lord. I am just going to tighten... Uh, well screw the uh, hard drive back in. What I showed in the time lapse as well, by the way, guys, was the fact that this is a Western uh, Digital Caviar Bloom, which are not bad drives at all. I love them. I think they are pretty uh, pretty decent drives. Move that back a bit, sorry. Uh, pretty decent drives. Um, not, not the best, but, you know, the, the bog standard kind of... They are the known, the, the the drive basically of choice. This is a dual slot GPU by the way guys, it's not, not as bad as I thought. Pretty decent. Especially for the kind of gaming I'm going to be doing, and I know you can just see my head right now too. I'm, I'm aware. There we go, that's in. Let's stick uh, the PCI power in, which is decent. I've never had to deal with PCI power because I've never had a computer that needs it because uh, I'm a Mac person 90% of my way through this. I'm also, just for fun, I'm not going to put it in the back two things yet, but close that hatch up and uh, what I'll do is I'll take off this front door. Part of this door is knackered by the way guys, it's just, it just doesn't stay shut. Which is kind of okay. This is a Windows 7 era computer, by the way. Just so this is before Windows 10, so it's probably about 2011 computer around that age. It's got it's got a DVD drive life, and the, 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 this doesn't shut. But hey ho, it's kind of minimalistic, so I get that. And I think because I'm going to do something. Daring now. I am going to find where the hell this power cable goes. Or if the bug is even plugged in, which I don't believe it is. Right, well, we can sort that out. Plug in power. Turn off the power supply for now. I'm also going to find where the hell this is. This is a USB for all my stuffs. I'll pl we'll plug that in. Sorry, you can't really see this, guys. Um, We'll find, what else am I looking for? Uh, short Ethernet, which is really short actually for this computer, the Ethernet jack is a lot further away. Um, then I need the Magix 
of wherever the hell it is. I actually don't know. There it is, is DVI. Because this monitor that I have is DVI. And then we uh, power it on. Okay, so. Well, it's, uh, it's done that. And then we'll, we'll do uh, power on, I guess. So, uh, powered up the machine now. You can see the little light glowing. You actually see that better than I can. But uh, this is the bit where we find out what the hell happens. Keyboard failure. Right, so you're complaining about your keyboard. I know you're attached. Right, oh, it knows. Okay, so it's got the keyboard starting Windows. So this should be Windows 7. Home Premium, I'm judging by the sticker. The oh, yeah, it's Home Premium. <laughs> Run Home Premium, boys. If this has a password, I am well and truly, truly screwed. Okay, so camera has moved to the top of the computer just so I can basically stand where the keyboard and mouse are. Preparing to configure Windows. So I know we're off axis and know we're behind uh, stuff. Please recognise my mouse. Fine. Not recognising my mouse. Appreciate that. We'll plug you into a USB port on the back of here then. If that's more what you're likely to be suited to. Still not recognising my mouse. Hmm. GTX. Yeah, GTX 660. If I didn't believe it now, I certainly believe it now, now. You can see that in the corner up there. The, G, the GeForce drivers are installed. And we have the CPU. It's an i3-2120 at 3.3 gigahertz. That is not bad at all. We've got 4 gigs of RAM now, and that is kind of a problem. But uh, temps aren't doing too bad. So, you know, I guess we've got some things going for us. Um, kind of struggling at the moment with... Um, my mouse driver, which is kind of maybe a, a major, major one. Oh, MSI Afterburner is in here, guys. Oh, oh, and my driver is here as well for my, for my mouse. We're going well so far, that's better. I think the 4 gigs of RAM is really limiting this computer, if I'm honest. Windows 10 would be a lot better on this kind of machine now. Um, Dell Inspiron 620, Core i3-2120, CPU at 3.3 gigahertz, 4 gigs of, ra 4 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system. So it is the genuine 5.9 on the Windows index. Holy balls, that's pretty good. The only thing is my day is my transfer rate. The CPU is pretty decent. The RAM is all right. The graphics, it's very happy with. So you know, I guess, I guess we're getting somewhere with this. But basically, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to uh, stick my um, my boot SSD, my my actual personal uh, Windows drive in this guy and see what it's like to play games on properly. I mean, it's, it's doing pretty good. I mean, we've only got four gigs of RAM, but we should be able to do stuff. I think it's 2005, but okay. I think that's why it's not liking it. I think the uh, motherboard battery is dead. But anyway, I'm gonna pause the camera for a second and gonna grab my actual boot drive and uh, we'll build that up. Okay, so after a small amount of time and the fact that autofocus won't work very well, kind of thinking about it, um, we have, a uh, Oh, didn't know we'd do this. Basically, I, for the last like 30 minutes, uh, it's not quite ready yet, but uh, I, for the next, last 30 minutes, have basically been getting my computer running. So this is indeed the Dell. Yep, this is the Dell. And uh, it's clean, and basically if we go to system preferences, properties, 
we see there it says it's an IBM Think, but the reason it says that is uh, due to the fact that um, it used the the uh, SSD used to be in a uh, Th Lenovo Think Center. Um, so there we are, Core i3 2120 at three point autofocus behave. In fact, autofocus, pause yourself for a moment. So, uh, Core i3 2120 at 3.3 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM. That is mainly my issue. That is my issue. Why is that an issue? Uh, most games don't want to run with 4 gigs of RAM and just crash. Um, even very low powered games. Um, but yeah, and also what we'll do as well, just for sakes, uh, we need to go to PC settings, display, we go to display adapters, we can see there, I'm going to text at the same time, uh, we can see there, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 660, GTX 660, uh, and we have dedicated video memory, 2 gigs right there, and then uh, 2 gigs shared with system RAM, just in case, for basically backup, I might disable that at one point, because, well, the uh, GTX 660 will be uh, fine for that. Uh, I have cleared out the, um, whatchamacallit, I have cleared out the GPU, so it should work fine now. Um, it doesn't seem to be overheating. I've also done a small overclock on it. will open uh, afterburner now just to show. But um, it does seem to be working. So we are boosted a little bit. Um, not much, just enough. Um, we're at 41 degrees, 42 degrees, we're not doing anything right now, but I was running games before. Um, this light game works. It's called uh, Real Drifting, Real Drift Racing 3D. It's, it's a Unity game, so it's very low powered, but you know, uh, once I get rid of this. It's a very low powered game that works perfectly well. Um, now this game on my last graphics card, well last graphics adapter should I say, wouldn't even run a, wouldn't even run at all. I'm playing this through the viewfinder of my camera. That's a dumb idea. But this game wouldn't even run at all. Now it's running perfectly smooth at well over 60 FPS. But it's a really simple game to to get running if you have the right hardware. Um, but yeah, it's a, a mint game. Um, really basic, but there you go. You've made. You'll have noticed as well. My Windows 10 looks a little bit more like Windows XP. Bit of old school. Uh, we've got all my stuff installed on this machine as well, so we have, uh, it's a little bit dark, but um, we have uh, CPU-Z, we have Fraps, of course, Windows Update, because they are MSI Afterburner, Steam, CCleaner, uh, Lightroom, stuff like that. My basic stuff, as well as Firefox, which starts up pretty quickly, and of course Google is my home screen, but my phone is still going off. Um... But yeah, everything works perfectly well. I'm pretty happy with this thing. I will, of course, be upgrading it. I have been on CX to see how much uh, i5 CPUs are, and even the i7-2600. Uh, not the K variant, because there's no point, because motherboard isn't really overclockable, so this is just literally to see what happens. Um, but, of course, first things first is get more RAM in this thing. That is kind of the major aspect, because that 4 gigs of RAM is really holding this computer back from being a pretty l decent little computer. By the way, this monitor looks kind of small and far away. It's actually quite big, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to swing the camera back round and kind of uh, outro this thing before I make it like 10 years long. So uh, back in a second. Okay, so after basically finishing off with this computer right here, um, it is all done. It is working fine. It, it, in fact, hang on. Let me just... So... After finishing this computer up, it's working fine, and um, I like it. It's running pretty well. Um, it's going to be used for basically web content mostly, and games maybe here and there. Maybe GTA 5 is about the only game I play, uh, and this costs me less than an Xbox One or an Xbox 360, so if I can play GTA 5 at 720p at 60fps or 1080 30 then that will be that will be pretty good I think and overall I think this is a great little machine for me I don't do much heavy stuff with Windows I mainly do um, mainly main, mainly do 
my content and video editing on Mac. I have a, a Mac for that with an i7, uh, was it 30? I don't know. Um, quad core i7 anyway, 16 gigs of RAM and uh, Intel integrated 4000 graphics. It's got 1.5 gigs of graphics RAM inside the thing. But there we go. Um, I don't really use Windows machines for gaming, and this is the first core series computer I've actually ever owned personally. Uh, I could upgrade my personal Windows laptop, which is over there, which is a, a Fujitsu, but it's currently running a Pentium. Uh, but you kind of go all the way up to like, and I, th I believe you can go up to an i5, and that's a, a second generation i5, I believe, as well. Um, but yeah, wonderful little compute computer for what I need it to do. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing more up to it. Of course, and I'm going to be showing you the upgrading process of of this guy and what I make of it. And I don't know. I might get rid of it and get something better, but probably not because it's actually it's actually pretty good for what I need. Um, but that's it for now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been kind of a long one, so I do apologise for that one. Especially since it was just basically testing out a computer I bought today. But um, if you have liked the video, guys, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, then of course you know where that button is. But if you did hit the dislike button, guys, please tell me down in the comment section below why you hit the dislike button. Uh, if your feelings are more complicated than that or that, then also go to the comment section below as well. Also, while you're down below this video, uh, please, of course, check out the description. You will find parts for building a computer similar to this. Um, you will find, um, I don't know, find lots of stuffs. Uh, also you will find the links to my Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram for behind the scenes of whatever I'm doing next. So that's it now guys. I've been Daniel. This has been Dan's Tech World. I hope you've enjoyed the video. This has been the Dell Inspiron 620 Core i3 computer which I got for a very 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 cheap and uh, basically I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. It's a new dawn.